Well, I was having a lot of mobility issues, um, not a lot of success in, in different diets. We tried different diets at different times, so nothing was ever syncing up. So tired of like when you go to a restaurant and they ask you if you want a table or a booth and you're like well we have to take a table because I don't know if I'm gonna fit in the booth or when we took the kids to Disney World and you have that embarrassing moment where you get on the ride and you don't fit and you have to get off the ride and let them go without you and kind of stand there with their own kind of looking at you and stuff you know that feeling of not being normal um, you know, so different things like that and just not fitting into the world as, as we know it. Um, You're not being able to do the things that we wanted to do. Um, you know, we had two small kids. Uh, we ended up adopting them when they were two and three. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have older kids that, that are here. The littles are in uh, school today. but. Um, we were older parents uh, to have kids that were that young, and you know it got to a point where we were staying, got to a point where we were like, "Are we going to be around for their graduation, for their wedding, for grandkids? The way that we're going, we're not." Uh, my primary care doctor really suggested Silver Cross. Um, what I appreciated was that they outlined everything step by step by step. What they said they were going to do is exactly what they did. Um, from the time that you went to the seminar to learn about it, um, till they handed us our t-shirts just a few weeks ago. And then when we talked to Dr. Joyce, I'm like, we want to do this on the same day. And he's like, you want to do this on the same day? I'm like, yeah, I want to do it on the same day. Let's just get it done. So we started the vlog right when we made the decision that we were going to do this. Um, so our first one was pre-surgical. Our first one was pre-surgical pre right when we were starting the pre-two-week diet. Mm -hmm. Did a did a video on our phone and then posted it on Facebook for our friends and everything, and it was kind of a vulnerable point because we talked about we're gonna have this surgery. Um, I gave my actual weight. I was 395 pounds. Um, I've never told anyone my weight, and I wanted to have somewhat of a diary on on our our progress because I wanted to see <laughs> if this would really work and have some kind of documentation that, you know, of our journey, basically. I started taking the stairs and not having any issues, and you started noticing your knees didn't hurt as much, mm -hmm. or, um, you know, your body image and what you saw in the mirror, I didn't really see anything at 50 pounds, you know what I mean, or something like that. I didn't start seeing things until you started looking at pictures. For me, it was, it was the clothes because even my bigger size clothes were tight. So um, I think I put on a, a skirt and it and it fell off and I was like, oh. There were weeks where we didn't lose any weight and there were weeks where we gained a pound or, or two. Mm -hmm. And you know, we were still like, all right, that's all right. You know, we still have, look at your whole month. You know, look how much you lost this whole month. We're gonna have these ups and downs and you still have these plateaus and you know those weeks where we we gained a pound or we didn't lose any we had to look back and say okay well, what did we eat your whole relationship with food changes or it has to um you know food was comfort food was celebration mm -hmm. food was entertainment food was everything mm -hmm. and you just had to change that whole viewpoint of what food was food was to nourish your body and that's what you need it for and yeah, there's things you can enjoy and different things like that. And I think the biggest thing for us is we didn't focus on what we couldn't have. We focused on what we could have. This was life changing. Um, now when I see people doing things, I'm like, hey, I bet I could do that. I bet I could go hiking. I bet I could go zip lining. If the weight is what's preventing you from, from doing those things, 
um, the BMI at Silver Cross was that was the way to go.